general mass appears to be wrapping up. You can see behind me uh, the many, many law enforcement officers and other first responders who have gathered here outside St. Patrick's. Uh, they're getting ready to stand in formation as Sergeant Taylor, his family, and the procession leaves the church following the funeral. Uh, take a look at this. The law enforcement and first responder community really showing up today uh, for their fallen brother. Departments from around the North Shore, the Miramac Valley, around the state, and beyond are here to make sure the family uh, sees these numbers and feels comforted by the show of support. Yeah, so it's super important for me and for the rest of us to be able to show the family of the fallen officer that we really care and, and that we're here for them if they need anything. You know, when we say um, the law enforcement family, we don't just mean that as a catchphrase. We really do mean it, and it means a lot to us. And here's a look inside uh, the funeral service inside St. Patrick's uh, here. We don't have a program to tell you uh, who uh, is going to be speaking, but I was listening uh, at least to the audio of the service uh, and uh, Father Paul O'Brien delivering a homily, very well known in this community. Uh, and we are awaiting some kind of eulogy. I'm told a family friend would be delivering a eulogy, but it is getting near the end of the funeral mass. Uh, and these officers that you see here live on Broadway outside St. Patrick's will soon be getting back into their formation, uh, a tradition that you often see at these funerals and wakes for law enforcement officers. Uh, and then Sergeant Taylor, uh, draped again his casket in the American flag, will be uh, carried out of the church, uh, and then that procession will uh, make its way to the cemetery. Live in Lawrence, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.